Hello, my name is Anton Kramskoy. I am a student here at High Wesleyan, and my project is Artificial Intelligence for the board game Eurorails. So Eurorails is a game, is a board game that ha taken, takes place on a grid-based board, as you can see here. The objective of the game is to deliver goods to cities uh, depending on the player's demand cards. Each player has three different demand cards, as shown in this picture, and each demand card has, for example, a good that the player can deliver to a specific city and a specific profit that they will make from delivering that good. For example, they can pick up fish from a coastal city, then deliver it to Zurich to make 38 ECU, for example, on this card. Another objective of the game is to link up seven of the eight major cities on the board with place track. So what the AI needs to know how to do is to pick the best combination of the nine demands it has total to maximize the profit it gets. So the reason it needs to do this is that there may be um, more many different ways to get a good profit. For example, if the AI attempts to it needs to deliver a good to the same good to two nearby cities. It needs to pick up the good twice from one city and then deliver it to others. If it simply looks at the best demand to do right now, it may not achieve an optimal result. So, how does this really work? So, let's say the player starts in this location. There are a number of paths they can take to satisfy to make profit. For example, they can move to this city, pick up a good, and deliver it here, and then keep going and picking up and delivering goods. But they can also follow the red path and pick up different combinations of goods. So, which, so what the AI needs to do is pick the path that maximizes profit. So it needs to keep track of a few things. For example, placing tracks across different types of terrain can cost different amounts of money. For example, placing across plain terrain will not cost a lot of money, but placing against mountain terrain will cost a lot more money. In the same way, placing track across existing rivers will cost more money than not placing track. The AI also needs to make sure that it reuses existing track to, to make sure that it does not spend too much money um, on unnecessary movement. So once the AI has a track set up, it will attempt to execute the plan which gives it the most profit. The AI also has other actions it can perform, such as discarding uh, demand cards, which will give it a new set of cards to satisfy, which is a strategy done by expert players when they think their cards are bad enough. It can also do things such as um, upgrade its locomotive to increase its speed move per turn. And it can also do uh, begin to link together cities to actually win the game. So how, does, how well does this AI perform? So we measured performance in terms of how many turns it takes to win the game by itself. So initial versions of the AI were in about 80 turns, but after a lot of uh, tuning and optimization, we got that number down to about 60 turns. So for comparison, a player run, uh, trying to play the game by themselves, an expert player, can win the game in about 65 turns. So, so far, um, the AI can um, present a competitive game to real players. So, so currently, the AI is more or less done, but there are still a few things that we need to do. For example, the, the AI currently does not uh, use the strategy of discarding cards, um, and currently uses a lot of arbitrary numbers when calculating its path multipliers uh, when doing pathfinding. But other than that, this project is more or less complete.